Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian, and this is my infrared sauna vlog. This is where I come and I sweat my buns off, and I detox, and I meditate, and get amazing clarity. Um, and right now, that's really important. So, I sit and talk about it afterwards so that, number one, I remember, because a lot of times when you're in a meditative state, you don't recall because you're sort of exiting the third dimension and going into a different dimension and it's sometimes hard to recall after you come back into the third my eyes are burning because sweat is pouring in my eyeballs <laughs> wow anyway i just came off of the most incredible meditation and so a lot of people have been asking about the interdimensionals or extra dimensional beings that are here helping us right now and they're becoming more and more prevalent with our actual 3D eyeballs. And um, I think today I just saw the Pentagon just release footage of actual UFOs and they're like owning it when for so long it's been shrouded in secrecy, certainly by the government. <laughs> so this is gonna become more and more prevalent and so people are asking what is going on. <laughs> and today, <clears throat> I guess the message is that they're here to help us primarily. However, and this is what came in like, and this is funny because it's come in a couple of times in previous readings in the recent weeks and you know, since this thing started and without fail, literally in my readings, 99.99% .99 of the clients are literally high level light workers. Like, and they all want to know, one, what do they need to do? Two, what's actually going on to validate what they feel, right? And today during my medication, med medication, this is my medication. This heals me and makes me feel amazing. Keeps my vibration really high. <laughs> um, but today, we're, <clears throat> excuse me, came in very clearly is the... And I hesitate to talk about conspiracy theories because I do believe some of the information is correct. And certainly things are not as they seem. Not even a little bit. There's multi, uh, l multiple levels in this whole thing. And the virus is just a small bit, all right? So for literally, and this, is, this came in this meditation really clearly today, okay? For a very long time, the planet has been going through the dark ages so to speak, energetically for thousands, tens of thousands of years, more even. And um, <laughs> it's partly because that's how cycles go, but there has been a force at work. Uh, nefarious is the word they use to describe. A nefarious force has had a hold of this planet for a long time, okay? And this force is comprised of beings that do not originate from this planet. However, and this was what really came clear, like ding, ding, ding. Um, this nefarious force of beings, one, my guides and angels have asked me not to say their name because you just don't want to call that energy in or make, you know, yourself be aware or a target, you know, be become aware. because. Be interdimensional beings, extra-dimensional beings can see through the ethers, just like a very psychic person can see through the ethers and see what's happening. And so if you focus your <clears throat> intent and your vision, your third eye vision on some nefarious or dark entities, they can see you back. So you have to be very careful with that. Keep your, keep your cloaks up, your cloaking devices, and also your energetic pr uh, protection very powerfully strong these days. Very important. Um, but see, we have these friendly interdimensional beings that are here, the Pleiadians and Arcturians and others that are really here in mass to help us, number one, integrate this, this light energy that we're being inundated in this part of the galaxy, which is new for us as human beings, to kind of elevate us into the fifth dimension really quickly. And they're here to help us with that, but they're also here to help us defeat this nefarious force of dark beings that has had a hold of our planets for a very, very long time. Okay, but what became very clear this is so profound. Okay, there's been a conspiracy theory about <clears throat> people in power, the quote unquote Illuminati and that type of thing that has associated these people with satanic worship, pedophilia, all sorts of craziness that I'm like, what? Nah. 
Well, in previous readings, a lot of that came through as true. And with slight twist and not so specifically about our traditional understanding of pedophilia, but what came really, really clear, and I got the connection just now, and I'm a little bit hesitant to even put this out, out there because it's just like, oh God. Now I can see clearly this nefarious race of beings has basically, they're saying inhabited this group of Illum Illuminati and given them power, prestige, um, vitality, and all sorts of things in order for them to kind of, in a way, work for this nefarious group of beings. So these beings, they thrive on the energy of fear, fear, and oppression, but mainly terrorizing and fear, okay, to humans. And if you think about it, Okay. There's a conspiracy theory that says that this group of dark people, the dark whatever state or whatever they want to call it, also somehow gets the fountain of youth or vitality or power or success or prestige or whatever from taking a quote unquote hormone that psychically has come through as a uh, almost like adrenaline that's released when people, specifically children, are in terror, okay? And fearing for their life. It's released physiologically and biologically in the, in the body. And it's been said in these conspiracy theories that this, these people that are these dark people, this group that have trafficking and all sorts of gnarly stuff, feed on this hormone or whatever that's released when specifically children are terrorized okay well that's the exact same thing that this nefarious group of being does with humans okay the more they can keep the humans the, the mass of humans not the ones that are at the top that are helping orchestrate all this but if they can keep humans in fear they can suck off so much more energy Okay, and keep themselves strong and powerful. In addition, if you're in fear, you become paralyzed. Okay, you cannot think clearly. You are really, you succumb to being controlled by others because of the fear, right? Not only that, but it releases hormones in your body all the time, which makes you lower your vibration and these beings. Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian. Welcome to the second part of my infrared sauna vlog. While I was doing my vlog in, in the sauna, um, the camera died, strangely. So I decided to finish outside in my beautiful yard, with my beautiful oak trees, see if you can see my oak trees. Uh... Anyway, so I was talking about some correlations between this uh, conspiracy theory, deep state, dark stuff that involves a lot of politicians and a lot of celebrities and whatever. And um, strangely enough, I, in my meditation this morning, got very clearly that, that, that these interdimensional beings that have had a hold of the planet for a very long time they like to elicit fear and terror and they feed off of that energy, especially in humans. And so it came also very clear that these Illuminati or whatever you want to call this group of people, they are also being controlled by this very dark and very nefarious group of interdimensional beings that have been here for a long time. Now put together your own dots in this picture because I don't want to go on too much about it online I just don't you know the more you focus on something the more you um, sort of attract that energy and so I just prefer to focus on the positive that we're being helped by these amazing interdimensional beings that are here to help us transcend and da 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 da, da. but there is a very dark story that's happening here but thankfully that story is ending yes 
Okay, so, but it's also a really, really important for everybody on this planet to do their part, raise their vibration, help the ascension in manifesting the most positive outcomes for all of this and all of humanity. It's huge. If we all come together as a collective and do that, psh, screw these dark, slithery, psh, they won't be anymore. They're already on the way out. Thank God. That's all that is. Anyway. I'm in my beautiful yard. I decided to just come finish outside. And so thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this helps. I, I know that it's helping me get a lot of clarity and I know that it's helping my clients get a lot of clarity. And my clients, like I said before, are 99.99% light workers. And so it's really amazing what's been coming through <laughs> for all of them. And so anyway, thanks so much. Please subscribe and oh, 